totally awkward, but that's me. So, let me give you a tour, I guess. <clears throat> this is the view out my window. There's my driveway and the street. Um, there's that beautiful magnolia tree I was telling you about. But since it's been like cold and hot, cold and hot, it's already bloomed, so it's not gonna bloom again. It's like lame. Um, what do we got? Um, my little candle thingy, nail file, scissors, lighter. Oh, cat brush. Cat clippers. Yes, those do come in handy. Um, my bed. It's really green. And cheetah. But yeah. Um, and my polka dotted blanket. Oh, wait, ready? And my cow blanket. I don't know if you could see that or not. Um, my really good friends made that for me. And this is my ghetto laptop that doesn't stay open. So I have to lean it against this. Um, ooh, my wreck this journal. I wanted one for like ever, and like I haven't done anything on it. Except, ooh, I did one page. It was like make a paper chain. So I made it like rainbow colors, because that's the color that um I did my chain that I was telling you about in the first place. So it's kind of like a mini replica to like remind me. But anyways, um, my mini uh, dream catcher. I have a really one, a uh, real one over there. That's uh, I've had that for a while. My family's part Indian, so it's like. I guess real and whatever. Um, my professional recording mic, which I use to obviously record, which is not a lot lately at all. I'm kind of slacking. Um, my books. I read a lot. Oh, and my very first softball trophy, which I broke the bat off of because I'm cool like that and clumsy. Um, my stereo system, it's really cool because, like, you can stack them, and it's got a good kick to it. The bass is good. My walls are, like, covered and stuff because I haven't, like, redone my room since, like, second grade. So, I hate the colors and everything. So, I cover it up with stuff, but whatever. Um... I'm debating whether to show you my, like, actual room, because you might freak. It's pretty bad. I mean, I told you, but nobody believes me until they actually see it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll show you. Maybe you'll freak out. That'd be pretty cool. Take in the mess. Oh, yes. And, of course, my outfit's just hanging there out in the open. Because that would be me. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. I'll show you my cat, but she's not around. I don't know. Surprisingly. Usually she never leaves my sight. But she was sleeping when I went to go take a shower, and I came back, and she was gone. So, yeah. My hair's, like, all over the place because I just got out of the shower. And I don't know what else to say because I'm awkward like that. But I promised you a video and I don't go back on promises. And you're probably sitting there like, wow, this is really boring. But guess what? You wanted one, so deal with it. Because this is my movie. <laughs> um... So, I guess that's it. Okay, bye. I have a little surprise for you. Ready? Look, it's my hamster. How cute is he? His name's Twix. I got him from my aunt. She works at this, um animal testing lab, but it's, like, not, like, bad animal testing. It's, like, for, like, medical reasons. And I guess, like, this was one of the babies of a hamster they were doing tests on. 
and they were gonna like put it down. So I was like, no, and I took them, cause I hate to see any animal get hurt. And so I've had him for a while. My dad laughs, cause he calls him Twitch, cause they did. He says he like they did like all studies on him and stuff. And I'm like, leave him alone. He's my baby, but he's really old and gray and fluffy. He uh, he's kind of a miracle, cause he's lived way past his lifespan supposedly. He's my baby. Okay, that's it. Maybe bye again. I can't even tell you the best part. Okay, so last night after you went to bed, I was in this huge group chat. Um, started on Skype, but it moved to Tiny Chat. It was with um, my friend Sean that's gonna come visit from Maryland. I've known him for a while. And my friend, my really good friend John, that used to be my cousin's best friend, but he's like mine now. And <clears throat> this kid Brandon from California, and this kid Martin, I think he's from Rhode Island, but he's so freaking funny. I don't even know what he, like, <clears throat> nationality he is. But, um, anyways, we were all talking, and someone brought up my status that I posted about, uh, the soccer team last night. And then the guy was like, Martin always jokes around, and he's like, oh, I can help you with that. And then I was like, oh, we were all, uh, we were just going to go to, like, the cryo bank. And then um, they all looked, and then he's like, I got a better idea. He's like, why don't we just get a jar and put it in the middle? Because there's, like, five guys and me. And they were all making fun of me. Like, the chat room name was LMAO Lesbians. And I was like, thanks. And they're all like, let me get a chance to change you back. And I was like, absolutely not. Sorry, I was looking out my window. But, yeah. It was really funny. They always joke with me and stuff, but... And then they were all like, Yeah, so we'll just put a jar in the middle, and we can all just add to it. And I was like, that's like p playing baby roulette. And then he goes, yeah. And Martin's like, if I... If the baby comes out looking like me, I win. And I was like, yeah, Martin, but if you win, we lose. And then they were all laughing, because he's like... He looks like he's like Afghani or something. He's like wicked dark skin with like a beard, right? And then I was like, Martin, you know why we lose? And he's like, why? I was like, because we can never take our children to Disney World. They never get past security. And we were like laughing so hard. And he was going on and on. But yeah, I figured you had to hear that story. I bet you it's a whole lot funnier in person. And you're probably just sitting there like, what? But I thought it was hilarious. Like all of us were laying there crying, laughing. But yeah. You need to get a webcam or something, my darling. But, yeah. Alright, bye. I've been a walking heartache. I've made a mess of me. Person that I've been lately ain't who I want to be, but you stay here right beside me and watch as the storm blows through, and I need you. Scott gave you for the ups and downs. God gave
watched your video, and I hope it made you smile because you honestly deserve to. You're beautiful, and I wish you could see it because, oh my gosh, just sometimes it's just overwhelming. Like, I just want to show you how beautiful you are, but, okay, now I'm getting corny. Um, so, oh yeah, there's, my brother today was out in the woods shooting things with his gun, because, you know, he's in the army, whatever, and he comes in and he tells me he shot a morning dove. I don't know if you know what morning doves are, if you have them there, or, but they're monogamous, they mate for life. And so he told me he shot one, and I was upset, whatever. But then he told me how there were two together, and he shot one, and it, like, flew over to a branch and then, like, fell on the ground. And the other one, like, was down by it when it was dead. And it was just, like, looking at it, and, like, my brother made me cry. I was like, are you serious right now? But, like, but to make it better, right outside my window, there's this little tree, and there's a birdie nesting in it, and there's eggies. So I'm excited to watch the babies come and everything, and Anna, my cat's going psycho, watch, oh, you're not going to do anything now, and Pia, what you doing, baby, come here, mama, manners, well, I'm going to cuddle up with her if she will calm down, and I red boxed a dangerous method. Um, I don't know. It looked good. So, yeah. Just keep smiling. Because you're beautiful. And God gave me you. Alright. Night.